Guys, come here. Check this out. So I've talked to you guys about mass drop. If check out this drop that I, I was on the, on the website this morning. Check out this drop they just did. $190 for this Seiko fly mask. Look at this beauty. What do you guys think? Should I get it? Look at that. I went to Amazon just to see what it retails for. 208 is the cheapest I could find it. Almost 20 bucks, $17 cheaper here on Mass Drop. There's only like three days left on this drop before the drop closes. I need to make up my mind quick. This could do two things. One, it's a great addition to my collection because I don't have a beautiful chronograph like this and I think this could be the perfect one. And two, this could spark a whole video because I've never talked about chronographs before and I think this could be the perfect watch for that. It's a Seiko. I mean, that's such a great watch. But what do you think? Should I get it? Should I not get it? I'm trying to control my spend. I've been doing way too much spending, especially on these challenges. Too much spending. But I really want this watch. I don't know. I'm going to have the link to that watch so you guys can see it. But uh, let me know in the comment section, what, especially you, you horo urologists guys, what do you think of this watch? Is it a good pickup for that price point? So I, I kind of rambled on there. That was not the point of this video. So today, what we're going to be doing is the best fit shirt challenge. So I've been doing the best fit series and I've been going to these major brands, which are brands that we all know, J. Coop, Banana Republic. These are brands that all of us have near us. We probably use all the time. But the idea is trying to find what brand has the best fitting blank, whatever item it is. And because that's what I noticed in my wardrobe. So if I go to my closet, I don't, you know, strictly dress from Banana Republic or just from J. Crew or just from, my closet is so diverse with so many different brands because I think every brand has its strong suit, right? Like this brand, let's say, let's just say H&M. Let's say H&M t-shirts suck, right? They, they deteriorate quickly, whatever. But... I don't know, maybe their polo shirts are nice, right? And J. Crew, for example, maybe their dress shirts are too baggy, but their chinos fit amazing. So that's what I see, and that's what I'm trying to portray in this whole series. Find the strong suits of each brand. So for jeans, we decided Ralph Lauren had really, really good fitting jeans. For chinos, we decided, wait, well, actually, I couldn't decide. I was stuck between Banana Republic and J. Crew. Really good fitting chinos. Now, for shirts, this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to go to some of the major stores. Again, I'm going to pick five to six, check out some of their shirts, some of their best fitting slim shirts, and see just which one is the best fitting. So I'm going to need your help at the end. Let me know what you guys think. This time we're going to make it a little bit cooler and we're going to do a poll at the end of the video. And I want you guys to vote and tell me which one you think was the best fit shirt. So let's get started. All right, guys. So finally, oh my gosh. Oof. So just got out of school. I don't know how this is gonna affect my daily uploads, which I'm really liking, but this school is just taking so much time now. Um, I'm gonna try to go as much as I can, but if you see me start lacking like here and there, you can thank school for that. But now, let's head on to the mall. I already know what my favorite shirt brand is, but I'm curious to expand, because I think that's that's a problem, where once you find like a good shirt, it's not so much a problem, but like once you find something you like, you usually just stick to that, and every time you're like, all right, I need a shirt, I'm just gonna go there, but there could be other shirts that are much better than that one, and all it takes is a little bit of looking. So I'm gonna do that work for you, and tell you what I think are the best fitting shirts. Hey. So like I said, I'm gonna start with Nordstrom's first and I'm gonna go with the actual, well I'm gonna try Calibrate at Nordstrom's and then the actual Nordstrom brand and I'm gonna pick one of the better ones from here and then move on to the other stores. So I think we had a pretty successful day today. Three brands absolutely killed it when it comes to fit. The prices were a little bit high, but I think the fit and quality were there for all of them. 
And that's what we're gonna see today. And then at the end, I want you guys to help me choose which one was the best fit. I'm gonna do a little poll, and I want you guys to vote and see which one was the best fit. Also, I get a lot of questions of what car do I drive. That's her. Beautiful Silverado, just lifted it, put it on 33, six inch lift. Man, do I love trucks. I thought I said that before, but this is the truck that I drive. Um, Got it a, like a couple months ago now. It's been about two months with this new truck, and I absolutely la love it. 6.2 liter engine, it's fast. I love the interior. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with the truck. I'm a truck guy, and I think I said that before. I'm just so used to it. I like the bigger, I like bigger vehicles. I don't know why. Um, I have driven sedans before, but just don't get the same experience. At least I don't think you do. I love the feeling of being in a truck and I, especially now, like I like lifted truck. So I, I like immediately I put it, as soon as I got the truck, I put a lift on it, I put bigger tires on it and I'm happy. All I'm, I'm debating now is an exhaust system because obviously it's a V8 and I do have that V8 rumble. It's, let's get back to the office. Oh crap. So the first thing we got was the Calibrate brand. Honestly, out of the three, I think this was the better value. The shirt came out to, this is a Nordstrom's brand. Shirt came out to $45. It feels really nice on the skin, so it feels like really high quality. I like the thickness of the collar, I like the collar spread, and it fit very good. So, I would say this one was probably the best value. So, this is the trim fit model from Nordstrom's. Then, I, keep in mind I went to Banana, Jaku, Brooks Brothers, I went to Forever 21, H&M. Yeah. Yeah, those are the ones I went to. So these three are the best ones that fit the best. Jaku, great fitting shirts that they have there. Um, downside with Jaku, like every time I say this, Jaku's a little price on the pricey side. Paid 69, retails for 90, so not bad. It's almost 70 bucks. Got $20 off with all the discounts but a really nice shirt. I re I'm really digging the chambray, too bad it's such a summer fabric, but here in South Florida, I can wear this probably year round, I'll be fine. And then the last shirt that I bought was H&M. Now, one thing that I recommend with H&M, do not, for whatever reason, buy their $15, or if you see the rack, sometimes they, sometimes they have like $10 dress shirts. Those dress shirts suck, and I'm speaking from personal experience. Like, the fabric after, I would say maybe even six months, and I'm pushing it, maybe, maybe even less than that. Like, you start seeing through the fabric, like you can see the fabric wear off, like it's, it's ridiculous, like super cheap shirts. I wouldn't personally recommend them. So I do recommend their premium cotton line. Um, this one does retail for around $40. Sometimes you find them on sale, like at the end of the year and stuff. So I went with this one, and their slim fit. Their regular fit does fit more boxy, so pick up the slim fit, for the better fit. So these are the three shirts. Let me put them on, and like I said, at the end, I want you guys to vote so we can choose which shirt is definitely by far the best fitting shirt, at least from my little study. So let's get started. Really quick interruption. Notice that ballooning effect that happens in the back. Somebody actually asked a question in a very recent video, and I've, this is something that I've discussed before. I have kind of a very defined body shape. So I have almost a 10 to 11 inch drop from my chest to waist. So I have a very thin waist. So finding almost any shirt off the rack for me to fit, fit perfectly is very impossible. So these shirts are considered really good fitting, especially for the average guy. Most of my shirts either need to be tailored, which I do that to all my shirts, or I get them custom made because of that feature. So if you're wondering why that, that extra fabric, it's because my waist is very thin. Alright guys, so now it's your turn. I'm gonna need you to vote and tell me what shirt you think was the best fitting shirt. So I'm gonna have the poll, check it out up here, 
and go ahead and vote. Also, if you check down in the description, I'm gonna have named the winners from the Allen Edmonds shoe giveaway that we did last week. All the winners are gonna be named down in the description. They have been contacted already. If you didn't win, it's all right because we're planning another giveaway with Allen Edmonds very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. See you next time.